Praise the Lord. Can you back to us? Yeah, praise the Lord. Can anyone hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you. Go. Hello. Yes, yes, Ani, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'd just like to yeah. thank the Lord in his presence and his blood over every one of us. And all, and he's uh, just his eye upon uh, my brother as he came down from our uh, townsville. He's uh, le he left there for four years and he's come, uh, come down here and he's, and, uh, he's got a He's also got a job there, and um, but also um, for just for got someone just to live by, just to so he can um, get some uh, uh, while he's waiting, waiting for uh, some place to rent out or something like that. He's got so some uh, place or friend to stay with. So uh, I thank the Lord for um, just blessing him and um, in this this accommodation and stuff. Like that, and um, I like to thank he Also, I like to thank the Lord for He's got a job there to looks up, looks after um, disadvantaged kids and all that stuff. And um, he's uh, done a uh, great job for th those kids up in Townsville who um, have troubles and stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah, he's continuing that kind of services to the community up in. Uh, Nip switch, and I'd like to thank the Lord for His eye upon and the angels upon everyone and all the people who serve the communities, serving your dis, um, people in difficulty, our um, people who serve uh, the, our security systems, police systems, um, just to uh, keep the peace for everyone with the, and those people who defend our countries to keep the peace and now uh, yeah with every everything what he's doing that we cannot uh, imagine that is very important even sometimes that we don't uh, like we forget to pray for he's got them all covered I thank you I thank for the precious blood upon all of us and he's answering our prayers all the time I thank you we have this Amen. opportunity to speak with him every day and just uh, uh, praise him and even uh, say the words and that to uh, just for our uh, shield of defense and everything. I thank you, Lord. And I thank you all the people in the whole, Brisbane Holy Brisbane Prayer Group for their prayers and the, uh, ro the rosary uh, every evening. So I thank you for the Holy Spirit and uh, the do for keeping his eye upon us all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ani, for that wonderful testimony. Thank you for giving glory and praise to God. Uh, yes, who else would like to testify and give glory to God? How many were blessed by the last week's teaching? I mean, the teaching of the authority, we're continuing it. It's a powerful teaching. So if, if that touched your life, can, can you please stand up and give glory to God? There could be somebody else who can be blessed because of your testimony. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, brother, I'll go next. Yes. So I want to thank and praise God. Uh, during the week of my daughter, Joanne, she was having... She was having She had missed out on a couple of days where she had to um, miss out um, using it at school because she uses it every day uh, at school for uh, her work at school. So she was stranded with that and she said, oh, dad, I probably need to get a new iPad because it's not working. And um, I was just thinking, oh, no, I need to get a new iPad. And then I, I took an appointment with um, with the Apple store. And I told her, I said, you know, not to worry, it, it'll be fine. And on the way to the Apple store, as I drove down to the appointment, I made a prayer and I put the precious blood of Jesus on the iPad. And I said, Lord, you know, it will be restored in the way in which it was prior to it not functioning at all. And I went down to the Apple store and he looked at it and said, oh, it, it looks very doubtful that, you know, it, anything can be done. Uh, he said that, uh, do you have a backup of the data? I said, no, there is like tons of data on it. And there is no backup because the iPad is not starting at all. So it could have, we could have lost everything, everything that was there on it, including all of Joanne's schoolwork. Um, but I held on to my prayer that I made. And he said, okay, let's, let's try. We'll try to install uh, an updated software. Uh, it may work, but let's give it a try. And he said that in updated software, we'll try to compress some of the files that are there on the, on the iPad. So I said, yes, surely I know that it will work. And so he plugged in the, uh, he brought a new, uh, another Apple device and then plugged it into my Apple iPad. And then he started the update uh, process. And as he was doing the uh, update process, he said, after it passes a certain stage, we will know whether it is gonna progress or not further. Otherwise he's saying, what we'll have to do is just re uh, remove everything that's there on the iPad and which means everything will be lost. And then we'll have to bring the iPad back to the factory settings. That means nothing will be there on the iPad. Everything will be completely deleted. And then we'll have to bring it back to how the iPad was provided once you get it from the store, like the factory settings themselves. So I sat down there, I knew, and I held on to it. I said, Lord, no, this is going to work. It is going to work. And I held on to your promise. And the update started and it, the update completed in a few minutes. And then he came to the iPad and he said, wow, it has gone beyond that point, which means it is going to work. And as I sat down there, it just went from stage to stage till the time the updated software, the new software got updated into the iPad. That new updated software compressed all of the file sizes 
and uh, it reduced it uh, and saved up a space of almost three gigabytes. And after that was done, the updated software ran. And after that stage, basically, the iPad was able to get started without losing all of the data that was there, all of uh, my daughter Joanne's work that was saved on the iPad and which she needed for needed for school the other day, for the next day. So I want to thank and praise God for working in our midst and restoring that iPad and making sure that none, none of the, our efforts and energies that has gone into it gets lost. I also want to thank and praise God in anticipation um, during the week, I wasn't feeling uh, too well. And I had gone for uh, a test, which I'm expecting the, the results for that uh, health test in the next week. But I want to thank and praise God for his healing that is already on its way and for his hand, his, his blessing. For his, for his healing that is already on its way. I want to thank and praise God for it. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who would like to go next? <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Keep this in prayer because a powerful session, the evil one doesn't want us to, you know, uh, learn about the power and authority in the name of Jesus. So let's uh, keep this in prayer, pray in tongues. For those who can pray in tongues, keep praying in silent mm -hmm. tongues, as I said last time. Yes, and important is to give testimonies because if when you testify, the power of the Most High God is upon us. I can't tell you how powerful this session is because this is taking the name of Jesus. If you stand for Jesus, you should stand up and say, well, even during the worship session, some of you have experienced healing. Some of you have experienced a kind of deliverance. Some of you felt that peace like never before. You must testify. You just can't keep it inside you. You have to testify and give glory to God. There's no glory to the preacher or anybody, but only to the Lord. And that's why we need to stand up. So Lex, yes, who would like to go next? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Brother Vivek, this is Jude with you. Yeah, Jude. Uh, I've been for a retreat last week, and uh, it was after a long, long time. I've been with a friend of mine. It was just, uh, I would say I was, I'd planned to go, but uh, all of a sudden I just happened to call him and he also happened to go and we both went together. We, did, we had a good uh, prayer and worship session over there, but uh, it, it was uh, not all that, you know, I would say I'm touched, I'm, uh, I could feel the, you know, the presence. So I know the presence of the Lord is there, but I was not comfortable, I was a little restless in my mind, a lot of distraction and unwanted thoughts in my mind. So it kept on distracting me too much. And uh, oh, well, in the last day of the retreat, when we are, uh, my friend who was there with me, he just happened to lost his spectacles overnight. And we searched the whole area and everything and entire uh, the place over there. And we could not find it. We were just wondering where it could have been lost. Uh, because it was quite expensive. And he knows that if he has to buy another one, he has to pay quite a lot of money. So I was just saying, Lord, what's happening over here? We came over here to, you know, to, uh, and just having a, a restless time and nothing going. I mean, I don't feel comfortable. I'm mean, what's going on. So I went to a chapel. It was the last few hours left. I went to a chapel. I just prayed. I said, the Holy Spirit, this is a Pentecost retreat which will come over here. If, give me the kind of, a, you know, the feeling and the, the, such a way that I know that I'm touched by you and I know your presence is around me. Please help me to find you and do you know, there's something that I know that some things are working right in my life. So after I came back, 
we went we made several complaints to the offices to find out whether did anyone find the spectacle no one everyone said okay no nothing nothing has been found so i came out to the chapel there was a brother who was who used to keep on nagging him he comes and give me the spectacles in my hand i said where did you get it he said don't worry we just found it i said wow thank you very much so i went to my friend and went and he was also in the chapel yes. so i just went and gave it to him I said, and I was again. I went back and in the chapel, I was just leaning, I was leaning down over there in front of that sacrament. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I I just I was complaining, grumbling a lot about everything over here, and I I'm saying that the Pentecost thing is going on, but I don't feel that the presence over here, and I I don't feel I'm touched. But you made me feel that no. you are there Can in you? my life. You're there in everyone's life. And you have made me feel so strong that you are with me. It's just that my belief and my strength has to be strong. And I had a wonderful counseling session over there. I made a very good confession. And I came back home with a very, very joyful, you know, with the, filled with Holy Spirit. But now, as you said, and I, did, I wanted to go and give my testimony over there. And I was lucky to go and give my testimony because there was a big queue over there. And I said, okay, now I will not give. I will have a more stronger testimony. But now, as you said, whenever has anyone been touched last week with anything, as the Holy Spirit come forward and give. So I said, okay, now is the time for me. I have to confess that the Holy Spirit is among us. We may not feel things, we may not see the thing, not we may see the thing not going right in life, but He is there present in our life. In some way or the other, He is, we have been watched by Him. I praise and thank God for everything, brother. Thank you, Jude. Thank you so much for that wonderful testimony. And the Holy Spirit is alive. I truly agree. And yeah, thank you for standing up for the Holy Spirit and thanking for standing up, for giving that testimony to glorify God and knowing that if anything is lost in our life, especially losing our own selves, you know, God will find us back again. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who would like to testify and give glory to God? Go next. Vivek, it's Shanine here. I'd just like to testify that Last night, um, we were having a trial run for today, and I actually pinched my hand badly with a with a, um, a mic clip, and I got this huge blood blister, and this morning I woke up, and it was completely gone. So that was a miracle, because it was huge, and it hurt. So I praise and thank my God for that. Isn't he good? He is so good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Shanine, for sharing that. Yes, who would like to go and give glory to God? Someone whose life has been changed by this prayer group. Someone who is coming for the morning prayers. Come on, let's give testimonies. Let's let's testify and give glory to God. Praise the Lord, brother. Thank and praise the Lord Jesus for gift of life, for protection, for all the prayers that the whole group, family group is praying. Thank you, Lord. And uh, two days back in the morning, I heard a voice which said, you left me far behind. So I am still pondering over that. And thank you, Lord, for grace and mercy and for the food on the table, for the protection, for the shelter over my head, for every little blessing, the air that I breathe for my family, for everybody. Thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Blanche, you put your hand up. So, can you testify? Praise Jesus, brother. Uh, there's so much of power in the name of Jesus. So, you know, even in my day-to-day -day chores, even when it comes to children, I've been teaching them even little things not to, you know, speak facts, but uh, to declare and to say, you know, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever. So, my friend has this non-Catholic friend. So, even whenever she's in trouble, you know, my uh, little one should get her. And so now this little one who's a non-Catholic also has learned to say the name of Jesus and she's experiencing healing. It's so wonderful, even with little aches and pains. I would like to thank and glorify God. And uh, even the day-to-day -day work, you know, even if I, though I have three children, my husband is traveling all the time. The name of Jesus itself is enough to give me all the courage and strength and not to grumble about anything. There is so much of power in his name. The Holy Spirit leads me day to day in everything that I do. Amen, amen, amen. And today in the praise and worship, I was in a different trance world. I, could, I saw Jesus just carrying me and taking me around. There was this beautiful garden. And we were just walking around. And there was so much of joy, peace, love flowing. 
Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. I could sense that in my spirit that there's spirit something. That there's something. I wanted to ask people who have felt it. Stand up. You must stand up because the anointing is strong. As I talk to you right now, uh, it's so powerful. The anointing. You know, I could just you know tell you how powerful it is. So many of you felt the anointing during the praise and worship. I want you to share. You know how powerful it is because praise and worship is the best time where you are emptying yourself of every pride, ego, everything, and giving glory. To so let's testify and give glory to God. Let's testify. Whoever would like to testify, go ahead. Yes, anyone else? How many of you have used the name Jesus and seen a miracle in your life? After last week's teaching, how has your life been changed by just using that name? When you go to sleep, you're not getting sleep. Take the name Jesus. Say, I come in the authority of Jesus. You know, and just speak it and say, I'll tell you, you'll sleep like a baby. If you have a problem at your workplace, say, I come in the authority of Jesus. Fill this place with your peace. The angels will go forward and fill this place with peace. I want you to know that when you come in the name of Jesus, it's not an ordinary power. That's the power of a believer. I, I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that. So someone who stands up for this name is a true believer who stands up and says, yes, praise the Lord. So just come on, let's testify and give glory to God because there are so many people waiting to hear this testimony. Someone's, tes someone's life will change because you testified. You'll be blessed because you came. And I thank and praise God for people who invite others uh, to this prayer group and gift this prayer group to others. Yes, who'd like to testify next? Hello, Brother Vivek. This is Rashmi here. I would like to praise and thank Lord Jesus for the gift of life and for all the blessings we have received. Uh, last week you had said that uh, you sleep on G uh, Jesus' lap and you, you are feeling nice. And I always tell my brothers and sisters that I am a person who sleeps in Jesus' arms and I really don't know anything which is disturbing or anything. I pray for everybody and I'm just so calm and composed because everyone says, I did not sleep, I did not sleep. I tell them, just take the name of Jesus and you see the wonders, what will happen in your life. I said, I just sleep in his arms. I tell him, Jesus, whatever my problems are, whatever my pains are, I just tell him, Jesus, you take it all away from me. And I keep saying, Jesus, Jesus. And in the last week, uh, we were not here. We went for a small holiday. Uh, but, you know, uh, whenever things went uh, haywire and we thought, okay, this will not happen, that will not happen. You know, in the group, we were 13 of us. We had senior citizens and it was really difficult to handle them. And, you know, but, you know, everyone is, how we'll manage, how we'll manage. So, no, just take the name of Jesus. All will go well. And you won't believe everybody enjoyed the full trip. All the four senior citizens, 94 years, 90 years, 91 years, 76 years. So you can imagine this age group to go with the youngsters. And, uh, you know, uh, children feel that we, they want us to be along with them. Parents feel they want us to be with them. So, But it was, you know, a nice experience. We just kept thanking the Lord, taking the name of Jesus continuously whenever okay we have not got a rickshaw you know, the thing we just said jesus jesus and i was just thanking each and every person and blessing the person opposite and the miracles that have taken place in this two three days i can't even tell you we enjoyed our trip we enjoyed it to the fullest this is my first trip which we did not have any you know chaos and you know some argument or anything i thank the lord for this praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you thank you rashmi <clears throat> that's the name of jesus I want you to know that when you come every Friday here, your life has to be changed. You can't go back the same as you came. It's, it's transformational because the Holy Spirit, the prayer group is called the Holy Spirit Brisbane prayer group. So the Holy Spirit has to change your life. 
Holy Spirit makes Jesus come alive. And that's why the name Jesus, when spoken, is that power that manifests. You will always see miracles every day of your life. And remember to thank the Lord. Say, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful time with you. Yeah. Beautiful. Get up in the morning. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me alive. How many of you yeah. thank the Lord for keeping me alive? The morning it's encounter is also very, very powerful and very nice. Brother Savio's reflection is also very powerful. The moment we read, I read that, I hear it. I am... I feel relaxed. I can do much more work in a much composed way. I don't get irritated. I don't get angry. I thank you, brother, for all these gifts. God bless you. God bless you. And please share the gift. Give this, Sharashmi. The least you can do is gift this prayer group to someone else. It doesn't cost you anything. But you can invite someone. You could ask Brother Savi or Brother Russell or anyone to add, you know, your friends or anybody you care for to join this group. Okay? Yes, brother. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, who would like to go next and give glory to God? Hello, brother. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yes, I just want to give all praise and glory to God, my Father, Jesus, my brother, and the Holy Spirit, who is my best friend, for teaching me to trust God like a child trusts his father. And this is something that, uh, you know, it took me a lot of time to understand what it really meant. And, uh, but now that I've, I, I finally learned to trust him, I know that he's taking care of everything and I don't need to worry or doubt. And yes, last week's teaching about just saying Jesus's name in any kind of situation, you know, in any, uh, whatever, in, in fact, instead of reacting to somebody or your family member or anybody, but just saying Jesus is just calms me down. So thank you so much for that, Brother Vivek, for sharing that with us. And God bless you. God bless the whole Brisbane prayer group. And uh, yeah, praise Jesus. Well, glory to God. We are a family, remember? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's all about, you know, caring for others. Nesha, as I shared with you, we want to reach out. And this is, we all, whether it's Brother Russell, me, Savio, Shanin, whether Janela, or whichever, you know, so many people in the rosary group as well, we all are trying to reach out to pray for one another. So invite more people to, you know, uh, the morning encounters or to the rosary, or even share Brother Savio's teaching or, you know, uh, or invite them to the prayer group. Give them the prayer group. That will be the best gift you could give someone. Yes, definitely. Thank God you, brother. Bless you. Thank you. Yes, someone else would like to go ahead. Yes, Jeanette, I can't hear you. Can you speak Hello. loudly? Yes, brother. Thank you, yeah. Jesus, for this thank day. You. I would like to thank God for every testimony become a living Christ testimony for me that I hear and every teaching from this group helps me to look forward and go forward. And I use those examples in the situations that I go through and then it becomes a living Christ in us. And I wanted to thank the Lord for that. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. How many of you have seen a vision of Jesus in the last week where the Lord has come and appeared to you in a dream or you just felt that the Lord is, you feel the power of God, just you felt that love in you and you started crying. The tears are coming off your eyes. It happened when you're just, you know, just being with the Lord and you felt that peace suddenly like never before. There is someone who has felt it, then please share because this is what Jesus does to us. Brother Jesus tells me he loves me very often. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I love you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just want you to know that whenever you're in any kind of situation, just take the name Jesus. I want you to know there's power in that name. Even if you're in the worst of situations where you cannot understand what is happening, just take the name Jesus. Just say, I come in the authority of Jesus. And I know that this situation will change. If there's a situation, even if you speak to the rain and tell the rain to stop, it will stop. If you tell the rain to come, it will come. This is the power in that name, Jesus, because he calmed the storm. You have the authority. I want you to know you'll be seeing miracles like never before. But remember to thank and recognize the miracles. You may say that's a small miracle. You know, the bus came on time and, you know, you were a little late, but still you got the bus. Everything is a miracle. So thank the Lord and you'll recognize from today that every small thing that the Lord does for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your word should be thank you, Jesus. That is how we would get that relationship going. It's all about building that wonderful relationship and having that encounter with Jesus. So Christianity is having that relationship with Christ and that is through his word. So it's not just through the teaching today, but it's about you spending time to understand God's word and putting that word into practice in your life. I mean, who else would like to share? Actually, uh, brother Vivek, um, this week when, uh, as you were saying, like um, I was going to put out the bin on Thursday night, and it was, and all of a sudden it just rained hard. And then I just say, no, I don't feel like going out in this rain at all. But um, it was funny. I just said, okay. Then I just said, uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, Lord, just can you uh, stop this rain? Just to. I just thought about it, and I just said, "Oh, what? Well, just give it a go." And all of a sudden, it uh, in seconds it just slowed down, and um, I was able to just take the bin out to the yard. It was, it's, I couldn't. I sort of like, um, I, I, I said like, I, I done it before, and it worked as well. But uh, I, I done it again. And it's sort of like it's, yeah. It sort of like gives you sort of like confidence, and um, I just thank the Lord, and I thank the angels and everything for being there, and I just. And it just slowed down after that. And it was just like, it was raining so hard and then it just stopped. And I just said, geez, you know, it's, thank you very much. Yeah, it was very uh, eye-opening. It's very enlightening. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, see, when we sing the song, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, that's my God, that's who he is, you know. Now, when you know one thing, when you're going to be talking about Jesus, you should be expecting that miracle. Say, Lord, you healed all of them. You never left one single person who came for healing. All of them. So think of it. When you're going to take that name with that authority, you're going to get all of it. Okay? Give them all to Jesus. You know, Savio, we sing that hymn. You know, give them all, give them all, give them all to Jesus. You know, shattered dreams and wounded hearts, broken thoughts. You know, give them all to Jesus. So my beautiful thing is that just give it to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I thank you. Everything is you. Now, you may be wondering, how does Jesus come so alive? The Holy Spirit makes Jesus Christ alive in our life. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we can't have and, you know, say Jesus is real. And that's the reason why you need to have Jesus in your life. Remember one thing, whenever you're going for anything, say, Jesus, I speak your name. I speak your name, Jesus. The things will change. Not seeing things, you expect them. And I'll tell you, the miracle worker is in our life. He's in the midst right now. And we just take his name. And we know that things will change. Uh, I just want you to know that God has been so kind to all of us. You know, he's kept us alive today to attend this prayer group, to attend this Bible study, and to attend this so that we understand the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, uh, anyone else would like to share and give glory to God? Brother Vivek, this is Rasilia. I'd like to add my testimony as well. Yes, please, go ahead. 
Yeah, this is, um, I just like to give thanks to the Lord for bringing us back into the church. It's been almost a year since we've had a face-to-face -face session where we're able to praise and worship him and such a powerful session of praise and worship this evening, tremendous anointing. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for bringing us back into the church. And since you have brought us here, we know that you bring the numbers as well. You bring all those whom you have called according to your purpose into your church. So thank you, Jesus. We give you glory for that in advance. I see a full church and we thank you, Lord, for that full church in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Fill up the church and let people come back and experience the power of God like never before. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Also cover every one of this prayer group with the precious blood of Jesus. Remember, I have always shared this. Not a single day should go in your life where you get up and not cover your members, yourself, the family, your workplace, and the Brisbane prayer group and their members and their families with the precious blood of Jesus. This is a compulsory thing that has to be done. And this is important because I just shared with you, we are, our war is not against the forces or physical forces. We are praying, we are, we are fighting against the demonic forces that are there in war all the time. So there's the spiritual warfare taking place all the time. The blood of Jesus is the only protection that we have. That is the hedge. So use it and we have to use it daily. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else would like to share something before we start? Hello, Brother Vivek. Yeah, good. Yeah, this is Janela. Yeah, Janela, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I, can. I would like to thank, I could like to praise and thank God for a wonderful week gone by and for protecting me and my family. I would also like to thank and praise God for our powerful prayer group and all the powerful prayer ministries that we are serving. God has chosen us. I could feel a very powerful presence of the Lord during the praise and worship session today and a very powerful anointing. I was even struggling to stand. Um, uh, also, um, another testimony is uh, I was having some issues at work and it was becoming very hard for me to finish work and leave on time. And um, I prayed every day and asked the Holy Spirit to take control uh, of my situation. And I thank the Holy Spirit for giving me the courage to speak up. And today all the issues are resolved. And he is a true way maker and miracle worker in our lives. He's working all the time. And sometimes we don't see it uh, that he's working. We feel that, you know, there's no way out. But he is working all the time. So I would like to thank and praise my God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Janela, for sharing that. Uh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, I want to share this I, with all my family, with all my family here, that uh, one morning, it was the 15th of February, and uh, uh, I was chatting with Blanche, and, in the, and I was literally dozing off. And in that time, at that time, I saw Jesus on the throne, and he's offering me a glass of water, <laughs> golden glass. And I want to share that living water with all of you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, yes, the living waters are real. Okay. And John 737, I mean, the Lord actually comes and gives us that living waters all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That's the Holy Spirit that flows like a river in us. And rivers of living waters will flow in you. That's what the Lord keeps telling us. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone felt a powerful anointing during the praise and worship? There's such a powerful anointing. Anyone would like to put an amen or some sort of thing? Um, even if you cannot speak, if you say, wow, you felt that powerful power of God really go through. You felt that peace. I felt something really nice. I always share praise and worship is the most powerful part of that. Uh, you know, that's where you enter the gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Enter his coach with praise. That Psalms 100 and 100 verse 4. Beautiful time to empty yourself. The best time actually is the praise and worship. Yes, anyone else before we can start? Uh, yeah, Jane, go ahead. I want to thank the Lord for the word he gone by, for his presence, for his anointing, for his protection. I want to thank the Lord for all the teachings, brother. It helps me to approach him with boldness. 
and uh, i can feel that i am not going to give any hesitation whether he will give me or not nothing of that no doubt i am sure that the boldness i go to him that he will that he is with me and he 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 gives me answer press for me has the answer and uh, for all the teachings he is here you have given me so it gives a great understanding the revelation you get for each verse i thank the lord for that brother for revealing the truth each teaching gives gives a different revelation and when he, even when he put mass he just reminds me of everything Okay, for example, for the last few last few few minutes, I said, "I know the word. I'm not ready to receive you." So whenever we go, we 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 hear that in mass. It just remains with the teaching. Yes, amen. So powerful. Yes, and thank you, Jesus. I'm able to go boldly to the throne of grace. I stand before yes. Him boldly. He gives the bro boldness. I forget. I forgot the boldness from this meeting, brother. Wow! Praise God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jane. Thank you for that wonderful testimony. So, how many of you are blessed by the morning encounters? You know, with Brother Russell runs every day, twenty-three, sixty-five days. I'm sure there could be someone to testify and give glory to God. There are so many of us who attend this either live or you know recording. Or you start your day with it. Uh, all praise to our lord jesus for the gift of brother russell to this prayer group but i'm sure you know how many of us are being blessed you know so can you put an amen or you know you know this is also to glorify god so god blesses brother russell and his ministry and it goes to the ends of the earth because he's chosen him russell never chose god chose him we have not chosen to come here god has chosen all of you to be here you know vivek has not chosen to come and preach the word of god god has chosen me to preach the the word of god and i have been chosen by god all of us are called as christians to go and serve we are not being called just to be here attend this prayer meeting and go back home and take care of our own families we are called to reach out and spread the good news of christ to others so we have to be jesus who are we when you hear the word of god today who are you today when you hear this word you become christ to somebody else and that is your testimony when someone sees the light of christ in you when they go out and you say jesus can i pray with you i tell you in the name of jesus i can guarantee it when you pray a prayer of agreement i guarantee you in the name of jesus that that prayer is an answered prayer whatever you pray for remember you're saving a soul i feel so nice then when we see one person added to our prayer group how many of you feel great when one more soul is added to our prayer group uh one more person joins our prayer group and really feel so nice that you know wow you know we are going all out to reach out to people it doesn't cost anyone anything we are praying 24/7 for everyone so that they are blessed and you can see the number of miracles taking place people without jobs getting jobs people blessed in their finances people are blessed in their prayer life people getting healed of different kinds of problems all kinds of issues people are there you can find a prayer partner in this prayer group and we are all open to being praying with one another you know so it's so beautiful that you know people are happy here praying with one another you know and it's this is this is a blessing so i would just say bless other one with this prayer group you know that be the best thing you can do and invite them to join if you have any problem there's brother russell brother savio they will definitely guide you on how to you know activate telegram and you know you can get there so yeah so that's the thing russell would you like to uh, any of the communication or anything that you would like to you know so let's do that before yes uh our friday bible study sessions will continue online over the next three fridays of this month and again in the first friday of july we'll be back in church so those who are in brisbane we encourage you to come please save that in your calendar the first friday of july we will be back in church here in dipnas so this is the church hall not in the church it is a church hall that's adjacent to the church um 
if there are any of you here that are attending this meeting and are not yet part of the telegram group i shall share a link in after this uh, so that you can click that link and join the telegram group with us as well also next saturday that is the 11th of june we will be holding our hybrid session on healing so there'll be a teaching plus um, a healing session at the end of that it will be saturday 11th of june at st gerard's church hall in brisbane so those who are in brisbane again i encourage you to come and attend if you are seeking healing from the lord it'll be a powerful session to attend it'll be at 3 30 p.m in the afternoon and we will also run it live on zoom and on youtube for those that are outside brisbane you can attend live i can assure you the presence of the lord is the same but i would still encourage those that are present here in brisbane to come in person that fellowship is different the anointing is definitely there come and take as much of it as you can thank you jesus thank you lord praise you lord thank you